nigga ballin', who that, who that nigga ballin', he's a ghetto star, he's a ghetto star, he's a ghetto star, he's a ghetto star, he's a ghetto star. they say who that nigga ballin', who that, who that nigga ballin', who that nigga ballin', who that, who that nigga ballin', he's a ghetto star, he's a ghetto star, he's a ghetto star, he's a ghetto star, bitch I'm a celebrity, What's pop locking world? Definitely. This is my nigga Chill right here, man. He ain't just family, y'all. The nigga, my nigga, we from the Earth is our turn. We've been fucking around since Moby Dick was a goldfish. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's real. But at the same time, I'm a fan of my nigga work. You know what I mean? My nigga's a motherfucking entrepreneur. He's a uh, MC. He's a rapper. He's an actor. He's all that in one. You know what I mean? It's my nigga Chill right here. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OG Pioneer from the West Coast, homie. Definitely. All you young motherfuckers, all you young MCs, man. Learn y'all, do y'all research about these OGs, man. That's real. Because nigga, niggas paved the way for you niggas, man. <laughs> for real. Believe that. Man, for real. Look <laughs> at this shit, man. We got the weed popping, man. Come on, we got some weed. Let's get this going. Let's get this going, man. Yeah, man, let's get this motherfucking going. My nigga brought some nice cuss. My nigga Chill walked into the studio. Brought some good weed. I was finna roll up some weed. He said, no, Paul, they put that up. Nigga, I got you. Bam, slamming weed and acting caliber. And this is what we do, you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, man, I want the world to know though, my nigga came out with a joint back in the day that was so hot to me, man. Uh, that motherfucking song, uh, Romeo and Juliet. Come man. on, man, come on. Uh, man, I love that song. Romeo, was that on there with you? It was a chick on that motherfucker with you. Silky Fine. Silky Fine. Yeah. That's another West Coast pioneer. My own girl, Silky Fine. Silky Fine. What's she up with her? Oh, she good. She hustling and shit, still getting her music it's on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Crying, you can check her out. Anytime she stay dropping shit on motherfucking SoundCloud and on, on the net, just keep herself fresh and out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all silky these, fine, man. All we got these, it right there. Come on, silky fine. Home yeah. girl. Look at yeah, it. Yeah. And, and, and it's funny because all, all the West Coast girls that I run into, they still remember her and they still give her respect, you know what I'm saying? Because she's the only West Coast chick t to date to go platinum. Is that right? Yeah, Yo-Yo, none of them, they, hit, they didn't hit platinum. They got gold and a couple goals, but she's the only one that's certified a million copies sold. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Let's see, that's game. Ear to the streets, man. To keep your ear to this shit, man. Only female went platinum. That's tight right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. That's yeah. motherfucking tight. So what's been up with you, man? What you got going on? What's new with you, my nigga? They got a new song called Respect. Got the video. A little while we gonna, you know, run the video and not let you check it out. But I got a new song, Respect. It's about... What a nigga do sometimes, nigga take drastic measures to get what he need. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And respect is something we all need. Without man, that, you can't even survive. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, these new motherfuckers these days they ain't got that respect, man. They Not at all. Ooh, man. I come from the days of when, when Big West, Mike Conception, and Suge Knight, and when them cats was was running the music industry. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and a lot of times some of our leaders make bad mistakes, but thank God I was under a nigga like Mike who made good decisions. You know what I'm saying? He put all that stupid shit behind him when it came to trying to go out and procure us a deal or something. He was always in there with the white folks letting them know my group is good, these kids can rap, they can produce, and he paved the way for us, you know what I'm saying, so yeah. that we can eat to this day, because I'm still eating off that shit tw almost 20 years later. What's well, cracking, Mike, Mike, it's FCL. Come on, man. Y'all don't know, that's another pioneer from the West Coast, you motherfuckers. You young rappers probably don't even know who the fuck Mike Conceptio is, homie. Yeah. It's real shit here to the streets, man. We got chill here with us, man. Yeah. Lace yeah. these motherfucking tennis shoes, man. Come on, real. come on. Well, you know, my my, my, my godfather, Mike Conception, one of, you know, he came out with, uh, besides being one of the original cats who started the Crips, you know what I'm saying, in 1968, he was also the, uh, Pioneer to we all in the same game, which led on to self destruction and all that. Yeah, he was the first one to go get all the rappers from the West Coast. Something that can't be done now. Yeah. Ain't that a trick? Like, you try so hard to get a form together with these niggas, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, For everybody to come together and, 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 and form. But he did that. He grabbed all the, all the rappers, all the great rappers, EZ, uh, uh, NWA. Who else was in there? King T. King T. Uh, everybody that was somebody at that point was on that record. You know, everybody was on there. Man. So yeah. we all the same game, which spun off. And the East Coast did one. They did one. Uh, self destruction. Self destruction. They yeah. did that. You know, after Mike did his thing. But that was, you know, that's who, who helped put me in the game. You know what I'm saying? Who got my chops up? You know, when it comes to this shit. Into the streets, man. Yeah. Shit. Matter of fact, man, let's just. Let's talk about this motherfucking reality show. So we had three different cast calls and women were coming out submitting their pictures or whatnot. Yeah. And we just picked the ones who we felt this show could do something that was ratchet. That was ratchet enough and, and had some kind of they could make a transition. Yeah. yeah because if the true. show is about uh transforming ratchets to queens, that's why it's called Ratchet Queens and who else better than New York could handle that job? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. 
that's where we at with the reality show, money. We just we got our little production company, man, and um, this is our first. This is our first show, Ratchet Queens. Yeah, I'm with it, man. Just let me know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm promoting it and I'm with it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm behind whatever you got going Come on, on, man. You know what I mean? That's how we do it. Team Real, man. It's only a few of us left out there, man. So, man, all this real motherfuckers, we got to get together. Keep telling y'all, man. Y'all need to keep sleeping and let these uh, uh, these fake motherfuckers overdo us. Yeah. Big shots out to anybody on the West Coast trying to do their thing. Yeah, that part right there. Man. Nigga, nigga, my nigga, you ain't going nowhere. Nigga, you gonna, nigga, you gonna steal me my whole show, man. Nigga, I'm here. Man. I ain't going nowhere. I'm just, I just got to let that out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? To my nigga, let him know that, man. Yeah. You know, we West Coast. This is where we at, and this is what we do. Yeah, that part right there. <laughs> it's my nigga, chill right here, man. Look out for us, motherfucker. Matter of fact, man, we're gonna show the video right now. Before we get up out of here, man, we're gonna show the video, man. Let's show the video. Check out my new video called Respect. You know me. Cause I can't trust nobody. Nobody but me, I can't trust nobody. When I break it down to peace, I can't trust nobody. Niggas tell it what they see, I can't trust nobody. So I do it all alone. And when I negotiate, I do it off the phone. Because he tap it when we rap it in every zone. That's why the phone is the reason niggas not at home. So you better act like you know. Hustle all night, stack up your dough. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. Flip it again and go back for some more. Back. And don't you never stop, cause if you do, your spot won't never pop. So when you go and get rough from me, you get tough. And don't never flop it, don't never cop it. Cause people look at me and automatically think I'm a threat. But ain't gonna get upset, cause I came to get my check. And I'ma get my respect. 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 Right here, you heard, you seen it first. Right here on Ear to the Streets. Fuck with my nigga Paul A. Star. You dig what I'm talking about? That part right there. That too. <laughs> yeah, man. At first we got uh, Jay Z, man. Let's talk about Jay Z, man. He ain't never been on Ear to the Streets. What's been up with Jay Z, man? Man, I'm hearing him and uh, Beyonce done decide to go vegan. Vegan is they ain't no more meat, no none of that shit. They going straight healthy, man. They trying to be around for the next 150 years. You know what I'm saying? Is that right? I guess when you got that much money, you could uh give up meat. I need that meat though. My, I need that, bro. I need that protein, man. I can't. So I guess I guess they gonna go vegan to be healthy, but and and and, and die from a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. You piss all your like motherfucker. Man, we got our nigga uh, Paul Walker, man. I can't believe that, man. man. Everybody feeling bad about Paul Walker. And the cool part about Paul Walker is he was a real, real California dude. He was yeah. real cool. I met him a couple times. Is that right? Very down to earth. My homie, my homie Ty had him on the set talking about cuz and all type of other is shit. That right? so, yeah, man. I, I, I couldn't believe it, man. Um, also, he was a straight up real dude. You know what I'm saying? He gave back to the community. You know what I mean? And he just. He was just a genuine dude, man. Yeah. I can't believe God took him so early. He was only 40 years old, bro. Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. They said he was uh, rolling. He was doing. He was doing like a hundred, man. He was. He was doing that Fast and Furious shit, man. Yeah, you he can't. Was, you gotta leave that shit for the camera, man. This yeah, shit, nigga, real life out here. Yeah, man. That nigga was, man. They, they showed the crash, man. That car was total the fuck up, man. Like they had to be doing over a hundred, man. The way that shit was around that mangled street, and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's like, and it, it immediately went into flames. Immediately went into flames. That's man. crazy, man. I mean, you know, they talk about him dying. You know, like much respect to him. You know what I mean? But that, you know, let, let it been a black nigga. You know what I mean? Just let it been a black nigga that did that. The first thing they be talking about is he was doing over the speed limit. Oh yeah, they would have right. It would have flipped on us. It would have got I mean? right to his fault. No, no disrespect to Paul Walker, you know what I mean? I love you, you know, I'm more for you, but just into the streets, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm keeping it real, team real. Uh, Gucci man, homie. Mm -hmm. Wow, when I heard that, man, I was like, man, I hope that's, that's all I'm looking at you say is. Yeah, I hope that's a rumor, man. I hope that's a rumor too, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying, nigga? We get caught, niggas all all the time get caught with, with, you know what I'm saying, with pistols and type shit like that. I think you know, we gotta start taking responsibility and shit for our actions. We already know a nigga high profile, yeah. police looking at you, they gonna make it, try to make an example out of you. You gotta leave all the negative shit and, and the piss. Let somebody else carry that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. he facing some time. They said he was selling. They said he sold to a federal officer. And that, yeah, that's crazy. And then, and then and then what really fucked me up? He got dropped. Oh yeah, he got dropped from Atlantic Records. They dropped him. My nigga don't really need no label anyway. No. Cause once you as big as Gucci, big as Jeezy, yeah. and all them, you can put your own shit out yeah. and motherfucker label. You understand yeah, yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Absolutely. Cause Nipsey you got the main money. thing. You got the main thing. Respect to my nigga Nipsey. Me and him got a new record too. But the the main thing is when you get your the fans, you don't need no fucking middleman. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But just the fact that they put it out there, you know, you got caught with guns and blah blah this, and Gucci. it was dropped by Atlantic. Just show you how the white folks do. You know, they love you while you roll it, but soon as something happened, man, they'll they quick you. cut your ass off. Yeah, shit, Jim Jones back. 
You know, Jim Jones got a hot joint he was telling me about, man. Yeah, I think it's that stripper break it out. Yeah, yeah, too. We on this? <coughs> yeah. We, we on the night. We on the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We on the night. Jim Jones, what's cracking? That's my nigga. Jim, what about this shoe sign shit, man? We, I got two issues with two shoe <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. They got uh, well, Adidas just signed uh, Kanye. Yeah, Adidas signed Kanye. Yeah. Okay, we on Jordan. Now, what about Jordan? He just signed a, a high profile. Uh, yeah, he just signed Drake. I fuck with Drake. I fuck with Kanye. I fuck with all that shit that yeah. they do. But I, I don't know if I want to wear them niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. That part right there. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to wear them niggas. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna walk in no motherfucking club. Oh, bitch, I got the Drake song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, yeah, Drake. Yeah, you, you got on Drake's. Yeah, yeah. you got you got on Drake draws too. <laughs> you got it right here, man. Oh, this, okay. Yeah. I mean, all right, I'll fuck some days. You got a little nice little case back here. Look at this yeah. side, though. Look at this. Oh, this hell side. no, oh, my nigga. What's all up? This, it ain't cutting right. It, ain't, <laughs> it just ain't. Is that the same motherfucker? Yeah, it just, it just ain't looking right from the front. Like, I'd rather, she look better going than coming. Good. It look like her, her, her pussy is long. Like, she got a long, I don't know what's going on right there. Long ass monkey on there. Yeah, little. long camel monkey on there. Right? <laughs> shit, good luck, Will. <laughs> We got some deep that's comedic, man. I can't believe this shit. Faison and goddamn Cat Williams and Cat Williams. Faison and Cat Williams. You would think these man. niggas is all the way cool. They was cool, man. They were, uh, matter of fact, that's what the beef was about. They went on tour together, man. And, and you know, uh, reports, you know. But niggas say, can't never do shit. Yeah, but reports say that uh, uh, Cat Williams all a nigga 50 racks, homie. Huh? And you know, he ain't paying up and woo, 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 right? Oh, so, yeah, that'll have me out of nigga ass, too. You know what I'm saying? Comedian, now that shit. That's what it don't. That's what is not funny. Yeah, that's what it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, that point. You know, yeah. the, 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 the reports say that Faison, you know, confronted him about it, man, and uh, Cat William pulled a gun out on the nigga, man. Oh no, he didn't do no dumping, so oh, why he do man. that, man? man? Just, but just look how funny this is, man. Faison said that Cat William pulled the gun out on him, and then sat the gun down, and they took the gun. And seen that it wasn't no bullets or nothing in it, and gave him the gun back. That's I, hey, cat. I don't know what you're thinking about, but where I'm from, you pull out a motherfucking gun and it ain't loaded. Boy, boy, that's your ass. I would have took the can as soon as I would have picked it up and seen it wasn't no shit up and I would have just went whooped his ass with it. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, man. I ain't no disrespect to you. I got no, no, I, I love you, Cat William. Yeah, but you can't be doing that sucker shit, Cat. Yeah, that kind of shit right there, Cat William. Yeah, mm. let it have us at your funeral. We don't, we we want to keep you around here. Yeah, you know, face on my nigga. Yeah, I fuck with face on too. Man, and, if they, and, 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 and if it was a squad, yeah. I'ma put my money on face on. Yeah, if it was a squad, I put money on face on. Believe that. Yeah, believe that, man. Cat William, man, we love you, man. You was a funny guy, man, but your etiquette is kind of twisted a little bit, man. We need to get that shit back right, man. Pay your people. Yeah, <laughs> I've been hearing about this ass of the week you got. Is that right? Yeah, man. yeah, man. All your guests that come by, you give them an ass of the week. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which ass you got for me, my oh, man? Oh yeah, they gotta have a bouncy ass. It's better oh, be bouncy. Yeah, man. Man. I got this one especially for you because you got your little reality show coming out and shit. You got the Ratchet reality show, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I just tried to get a Ratchet for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we got a Ratchet for you right here, man. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, Ratchet. She got a nice little. Ratchet. That's a nice little plump ass though. Oh, I got cakes. Look at the back of it. Though. Look at her back. Look, look at the living room. Look at that room and shit. Yeah, yeah. She on the living room and shit on the, the back background. She, man, they don't. Man, hey, why the females? Why y'all? Why y'all don't clean the back up when y'all be doing that twerking shit? Y'all be having the funniest background scenes. I, I don't understand that. Clean the house before you fucking doing your YouTube's and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean, I mean, we pay attention to the ass, but if, if we watch it a couple of times, we get to watching all kinds Everything. of shit. Everything. We can only watch the ass once and shit. Yeah. After that, you gonna start looking at the chair, bitch, trash can, yeah. dirty ass carpet. Nigga fucking ready to see a mice run by. Oh <laughs> man, I, I done seen a bitch twerking in a rope. <laughs> Walk by, stop, look at the bitch twerking, and kept on walking. <laughs> yeah, but she twerking at She's still twerking. We, she's still twerking. But that's the ass of the week, baby. That's your ass, baby. Come on, I'm taking that with you. Take that home with you, man. You got a you know, two day pass there at the, at the, at the, at the, at the uh, Motel street. 6. Yeah, Motel 6. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, my nigga. Yeah. Ass of the week, baby. That's what we do here to the streets, man. Good looking out. Get thanks for coming, my nigga. Yeah, come with my nigga. You gotta come back in, man. man. From our neck, hey, look out for our video, man. We got a video we shooting. Oh, yeah. Call the shit I'm on. Yeah, the shit I'm on, man. Come on, my nigga. That shit gonna be crazy. Man, man. chill. Paul Lee Star. <laughs> ear to the streets. Keep your ear to it and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see the Louis hold my Levi's up. 
jumping out of truck, 30 inches holding it up. Hard. 